But, you know, they don't want to deal with civics. They want to play religious whatever. Pray and read the Quran. Probably two hours in an up-to-date library would serve to relieve the strain on your men of letters. So that's the, that's the minimum time that you should be put into studying. Two hours is the minimum. Probably two hours would do. Probably two hours. But if you really want to know something, stay four. Just bring your little sandwiches and stuff like that. They got children's section. You can send the children over there. Let them go read something while you do your studying. Yeah, tr trust me. Because you know, you think just some five minutes or whatever is going to do something? This is about knowing. Keep in mind, before you go into the temple, the hieroglyphic is above the door. Know thyself. Before you go inside there to know whatever, you're supposed to know yourself. The matter of the various names given to these 22 million people with all colors of every race of the globe was an act of European psychology. They gave him a name, then defined it as something inferior to theirs. White, they defined as the color, defined as a color or purity. Black, they say, represents everything evil. The Negro, as they were called in this nation, has no nation to which they might look with pride. Their history starts with the close of the Civil War, or more properly, with his being forced to serve someone else. Thus, he is separated from the illustrious history of his forefathers, who were the founders of civilization of the old world. This matter should be looked into with a hope of correcting it. That's to all the Negro, Black, whoever people that clearly being classified by somebody else or making up something that you think is, you know, who you are or whatever. Clearly being in that status hasn't gotten our people anywhere. And nobody ever thinks that it's that. Those names. Nobody ever thinks that it's that. Everybody thinks that, you know, we're just making up something. There's no such thing as Moors, and Moors are only in North Africa. And the facts remain that what Noble Juali did in the 1900s was the backbreaker for the foreigners here because the people were correcting their status. And once their status is corrected, then they pass that on to the next generation. But what their status is, so they don't grow up to be. forced to serve someone else but they're constantly being forced to serve someone else aren't they yeah that's because your friends who you call your brothers sold you out and they're trying to convince you that there's no such thing as moral sovereignty there's no such thing as you using your nationality in the free world. Prophet makes a plea to the nation. 
Our divine and national movement stands for the specific grand principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And I, the prophet, am applying to all loyal, faithful Moors, members, and the American citizens to help me in my great uplifting acts of uplifting fallen humanity among the Asiatic race and nation. For I have suffered much and severely in the past through misunderstanding of what this movement was dedicated to. So this is not new. This misunderstanding of what Nobu Juali brought is not new. The reoccurring theme. People don't want to accept the fact that the priesthood is dead. And you're on your own. The priesthood is dead. You're on your own. Either you're going to be sheep led to the slaughter because you have a shepherd or go graze. It is the great God Allah alone that guides the destiny of this Moorish, of this divine and national movement. It is the great God Allah alone that guides the destiny of the divine and national movement. The divine and national movement. The divine and national. And don't let these people think that they can fool you into thinking that divine means religious. And to, think you, to have you think that national doesn't mean religious. Because national means religious. And divine has nothing to do with religious. I know all true American citizens are identified by national descent names to answer and apply to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. So Juali was pushing republic talk not democracy. Right now, 2016, there's no republic. There's only democracy. So anybody telling you to do anything with so-called government in 2016, those people work for quote-unquote the government because they're not a government. They're a private foreign occupying force that is using Moore's birthright that they don't want. They're using Moore's birthright that they don't want to do whatever it is that they want to do, to be somebody. Right? Because they want to be somebody. The thing is, who do they want to be? Remember the Gatorade with Barkley in there? Sometimes I dream that he is me. They want to be like Morris. Everybody wants to be like Morris. But they can't really do that if the Moors are present. So they have to go in secret. And they go in secret and come out and Moors are telling you that the secret imposter people who behind closed doors are Freemasons or whatever like that pay taxes to them. Let's go a little further. Just let's go a little bit further. This is... um. The Great Crash, 1929. John Kenneth Galbraith. The Great Crash. Because these guys have this illusion going on that what we see today in 2016 is a government. Moors, who have fezes on and stuff like that. Who said that they're Moorish American? They're trying to convince people that 
The individuals who call themselves government right now are government. And that you should try to get a job in there so you can change the system because once we get mores in there, then what are you guys talking about? They, they never they never told you about James Traficant Jr. You never you never listened to none of his go listen to some of his stuff. James Traficant Jr. Right? And then ask yourself how does somebody who grew up on a farm have a tractor roll over on them and kill them? Just like you you know, just like you have to ask the question, the guy who's in the back of the car handcuffed and shot himself twice in the head. You have to ask questions. You can't just accept certain things that people just put out there and just say. You have to use some common sense and logic and reason. You can't be oblivious to logic and reason and not use your goddamn common sense. That if they're going to say that Nobu Juali is the prophet and he died in 1929, and then stock market crash in 1929, Right after he died, the, the stock market crash. Then people clearly don't know what's up. And they've been very misguided with the impact of this individual doing what he did by telling these Negro black colored people that they're Moors and that they have a nationality. In the 1920s, he's talking about nationality. By the summer of 1929, the market not only dominated the news, it also dominated the culture. The research, Recherie, R E C H E R C H apostrophe E, minority, which at other times has acknowledged its interest in St. Thomas Aquinas, Proust, psychoanalysis and psychosomatic medicine then spoke of United Corporation, United Founders and Steel. Only the most aggressive of the eccentrics maintained their detachment from the market and their interest in auto-suggestion or communism. Main Street had always had one citizen who could speak knowingly about buying or selling stocks. Now he became an oracle. In New York on the edge of any gathering of significantly interesting people, there had long been a literate broker or investment counselor who was abreast of current plans for pools, syndicates, and mergers, and was aware of attractive possibilities. He helpfully advised his friends on investments and pressed he would always tell what he knew of the market and much that he didn't. Now these men, even in the company of artists, playwrights, poets, beautiful concubines, suddenly shone forth. Their words, more or less literally, became golden. Their audience listened not with the casual heed of people who are collecting quotable epigrams, but with the truly rapt attention of those who expect to make money but by what they hear. That much of what was repeated about the market, then as now, bore no relation to reality is important but not remarkable. Between human beings, there is a type of intercourse which proceeds not from knowledge or even from lack of knowledge, but from failure to know what isn't known. So the key is knowing. The key is knowing. The only way that you would find salvation and liberation is by knowing. There's no magic paper that you're gonna get by from some more that's gonna free you. There's no best nationality card. There's no best plate to get. It's all about knowing. If you could, if you could, if you could free yourself from the illusion of the things that come with Moorish nationality, the perks, the benefits, no taxes and all this stuff, right? Being able to exercise the right to travel and being able to use your nationality card as your passport, 